father with a bright future, but it was all taken away when he was gunned down in Detroit. That was four years ago, but the search to find Roy Kelly's killer continues. 7 Action News reporter Anu Prakash here to tell us why Kelly's family believes this case has been so hard to solve. Yes, yeah, Stephen and Glenda, Roy's sister believes she knows who killed her brother, but without a key witness coming forward, she fears this case won't be solved. My brother was really loved, and this person that done this really needs to come forth. I know it's been four years, but I'll never give up. Four years of heartache and questions for the family of Roy Henry Kelly III. Back on the morning of July 17, 2013, Roy was shot to death on the corner of Bentler and Fargo on Detroit's northwest side. He was found lying in the street next to his white Dodge Caravan. His sister Jennifer Mitchell believes he knew his killer. Somebody asked him for a ride a couple of blocks away. and. They shot him in his eye. Mitchell says there was one witness who made a statement to police but then refused to help in the investigation. She says nobody's been able to find her. It's just really something that somebody would do that and just leave him laying in the middle of the street. Roy was 29 years old, a father to a boy who's now eight. Roy worked as a chef at Tom's Oyster Bar in Southfield. He was a graduate of Henry Ford High School, an honors student who went on to Oakland Community College majoring in business. Jennifer Mitchell has this message for the person who robbed her brother of his life and his promising future. I'm quite sure you think about it every day because I think about it every day. And it has to be on your heart. You can hide in the city, but on Judgment Day, you can't hide. Crime Stoppers is offering a reward of $2,500 for information that leads to an arrest in this case. Now, if that tip comes in before midnight tonight, an extra $1,000 will be added to the reward, raising it to $3,500. You can call 1-800-SPEAK-UP and you can remain anonymous. I'm Anu Prakash, 7 Action News. A long time without answers. Anu, thank you.